My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. How do people start off their sponsored videos? <laughs> Let me try. What's going on, you guys? So, hey, what's going on, you guys? Uh, no, that's not right, neither. Hey, guys, what's going on? And no, that's not right, neither. Okay, in all seriousness, <laughs> uh, what's going on, you guys? Uh, this video is sponsored by Moot. Uh, Moot. <laughs> I can't get this done right. <laughs> oh, get the laughs out. Get the laughs out. Okay, I'm ready. Alright, what's going on my brothers and sisters? Uh, this video is actually sponsored by Moot, so thank you guys again. Uh, Moot is an upcoming uh, gaming community-based website. It, it kind of reminds me of Reddit, actually. It's like Reddit, but more civilized, because it doesn't have as many users. <laughs> you know, but it kind of reminds me of Reddit, but it's strictly gaming, you know? So uh, they call it on the uh, website lounges. So there's these different lounges that you can visit from Fortnite to PUBG, to Overwatch, to NBA 2K, Grand Theft Auto, Rainbow Six, Call of Duty, Monster Hunter World, you name it. They're actually going to be add, you know, be adding more lounges in, uh, in the future. So as more games come out, they're going to be adding newer lounges. Um, And on the website, you know, if you're like an active member, of the community of the community it's, it has this level up system to where the more active you are you unlock like these different rewards and, and stuff like that the time I spent playing around on the site you know people post highlights for like the games that they're playing in whatever in whatever lounge you're in so they post highlights reviews like trending memes uh discussions about the game stuff like that so right now i mean again prob probably because you know that like not a lot of people know about it but right now the community is real friendly and inviting <laughs> you know so like people on there like real are like real nice and like hey buddy what's going on <laughs> you know if you want to check out a new community based uh gaming website that right now is friendly Go ahead, check out. You know, I you know I actually like the little layout they got going on, and I think the future is bright. You know, if they can keep up the work and like updating the site and stuff like that, see you know what the future of the site is. So uh, yeah, once again, check out Moot if uh, you guys want to. Not saying all that. Let's get to the video. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but God of War has completely ruined my gaming experience. <laughs> like this junk. That's, that's the only reason why I hate playing really good games. Because every time you beat a really good game and you get that first experience out the way, then it just sets in like, man, I got to return back to all these other mediocre trash games. <laughs> like, that is literally how I feel since I beat this game. And I'm still playing the game. It's, it's, it's not like I'm not playing it no more because I kind of do want that platinum. I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you, like, I've been seeing all these people post on Twitter and stuff like, yeah, I finally got this God of War plot, and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> so, I kinda do want that plot, like, I can't lie, you know, so I'm still doing, like, the favors and stuff like that, and all, like, the side quests, and those freaking cheap behind Valkyries, Lord have mercy, some, some of them junks don't make no damn fool, <laughs> like, that junk is, like, on souls level might be past souls level because some of the attacks so damn cheap but that's another story you know so I'm, it's not like i'm not playing god of war no more i am but once you get that first experience out the way it's kind of you know it's kind of like you're just playing it now you know so god of war and i was thinking about this junk last night is god of war the best game this generation now obviously everyone's opinion on this is going to be different no one's going to have the same answer i'm sure you won't have suckers like um god of war over zelda breath of the wild <laughs> good joke buddy this joke ain't better than the witcher 3 you ashy negro <laughs> over persona so you really ain't about to mention sea of thieves my guy Again, no one's answer is going to be the same to this. Everyone's going to have a different opinion. But I was thinking last night, since we've been in this generation with PS4, 
that Xbox One, and that Nintendo Switch, okay? And all the games we've played thus far. I wrote down some of my favorite games this generation, and it goes as follows. <clears throat> In no particular order, Bloodborne, Ratchet and Clank, Near Automata, good lord have mercy. If it wasn't for this game right now, I don't know what I'd be playing. <laughs> Near Automata, Uncharted 4, Akakak, aka Cuphead, Watch Dogs, Destiny, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Horizon Persona 5. I I I have games like that I enjoyed. You know, I wouldn't say they're all on that same level as God of War, but there's been some great games ba based on like feeling you got like every single penny you paid for that game, did you get your money's worth? God of War I think the reason why I like this game so much is because it's a fresh new take on God of War. Going from PS2 to PS3 to now this one, this current God of War is actually my favorite. And it's very rare for a game to, you know, start on PS2, go on to PS3, and then they put one out. And that is arguably the best one in the series. I know some people will say Uncharted 4 did that. Listen, this is all opinions at the end of the day. <laughs> this is all opinions, but let me say this one more time. Uncharted 4 was an amazing... Let me preface my comments by saying Uncharted 4 was an amazing game. I loved playing Uncharted 4. I thought it was a good ending to the Uncharted, you know, to the Uncharted series for now. I say for now because I think we haven't seen the last of Uncharted, you know, but for now, I thought it was a good ending. But dude... I kind of feel like Uncharted 4 was a little, and I hate this word, oh, uh, overrated, but I do kind of feel like people put that game somewhere where it's not supposed to be. Something about Uncharted 4 till this day does not sit right with me. I don't know the answer for sure. <laughs> I don't know the answer for sure, but I think it's because the way they threw in Sam, this man's brother just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> like, that... Nadine, I'm all for having strong female women in video games, so don't call so don't call me oh, the sexist 2320. <laughs> no. Like I I'm all for that, but just the way Nate I thought they did Nadine way better in uh, Lost Legacy. I, I actually liked her more in that cuz she actually had some freaking character, but in 4 it was just like they they like threw like threw her in just to be a badass. Like they're there was it didn't really have set pieces like that like the best set piece in uncharted 4 they freaking showed at e3 like there there are multiple things about uncharted 4 that still doesn't really sit right with me so when i see people say that it that it was the best one i'm just like suck it this joke ain't better than two. <laughs> this joke ain't better this joke ain't, this joke is not better than two it may not even be better than three and uncharted listen uncharted one even though it was the first one and yeah it kind of feels dated uncharted one is underrated as freak that story is really good yeah it feels dated but it's really good so uncharted 4 great game but i can't put it up there based on like the overall experience with god i can't put it up there with god of war persona Persona 5, I'm still playing the game. I haven't beat yet. I'm like 55, 60 hours into the game. I like the game. I mean, if I didn't, I would have been dropped this too much, you know. But uh, there's def the way people talk about Persona 5, you would think the game is just incredible. And everyone's taste in games are different. I realize that. But there's definite, there is definitely times in Persona 5 to where it's just like, okay what's the next thing we're doing <laughs> like this is sometimes they just talking and you just building up relationships with characters and stuff like that now the overall experience you get in persona i like soundtrack gameplay is great but there's definitely times in persona i'm like oh <laughs> you know so i can't even I'm, I'm, I'm talking about a game you enjoy thoroughly from beginning middle to end not at one point did you ever think like man what's next <laughs> and i did not get that feeling in god of war at 
all. Let me tell you out of all of the games that I have on this list that I might put up there with God of War. Ratchet and Clank, I freaking love the game. The freaking uh, reboot that, uh, that they did in 2016. Ratchet and Clank, I might put that up there with God of War just based on the overall experience and how I felt like after I beat the game. Um, I'm not including Last of Us because Last of Us was freaking last gen. Uh, Near Automata, Near Automata, freaking dude, Near Automata. You know, because each time you get an ending, it's different and they show like different stuff in like each playthrough. Nier is incredible. It is way much more my style when it comes to like, you know, these RPG-ish type action games. Because the freaking gameplay is just so great. To, don't even get me started on that soundtrack. Nier Automata, I'll put up there. Cuphead, I'll put Cuphead up there. Even though I still haven't been here. I still haven't been I'm literally at King Dice. The last boss, you know how when like you have to like roll that dice to like get to the end, and then once you get to like the end, like you have to roll the roll the dice again, and I and I think if you land on like one, it pushes you back to <laughs> I <laughs> The freak <laughs> I I have literally did that eight to nine times. Each time somehow I land on one and it takes me all the way back. I'm like Good games, Cuphead. It's been great. I have not been on that game since, but Cuphead was an amazing experience. Freaking love that game. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I th there's really not a lot of games that I've played this gen that I've had that feeling. Like, dude, I got every penny's worth of playing this game. There's been very few. So, is God of War the best game this generation? Again, I don't think no one's answer is going to be the same. Some people will say yes. Some people be like, heck no, suck it. this junk is better. But overall experience, especially based on the fact that this was like a reintroduction to the series and my now favorite God of God Award, this God Award is probably, if not the top game this gen so far, it has to be top two, top three. It gotta be, you know. I can't really say so much for Switch. I'm, I'm sure those Switch owners will be like, "This show ain't better than Zelda: Breath of the Wild, buddy," <laughs> or you know, Sp or Splatoon or Mario. I'm sure, like, again, no one's opinion is going to be the same. But since we've been in this generation, PS4, Xbox One, uh, Nintendo Switch, what has been the best? game this generation to you out of all the games you've played so far this gen what game has like just based on the experience and just what you felt while playing the game what you got from that game what is the best game this generation to you for me if if not god of war it's either ratchet and clank near i can't even throw in bloodborne and i love bloodborne but I ain't gonna act like at some times I dropped that game for two weeks and then like came back to it <laughs> because there are just times in like the game I'm like, man, I can't take this game no more. I'm leaving. Left for like two weeks, came back. So I can't even put Bloodborne up there. I'm talking about a game you enjoy thoroughly from start beginning to end. Not at one point did you ever feel discouraged or bored, let down, nothing. This is tough, dude. What is the best game you played this generation? Leave it down in the comments below and leave why you think that that was the best game this gen this generation to you. Leave all that in the comments section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch y'all in my next one, all right? Peace.